Hello and welcome in Teach Max videos. Let us move to next part of design of RCC structures or water tanks, right? So here we are going to design once again water tanks for the crack width. Okay. So using IS three three seven zero part two two thousand nine, we are going to design a rectangular uh, any water tank, not only rectangular, circular as well as rectangular water tank which is resting on the ground by uh, for the crack width okay so yes we are going to just check it the crack width because already i have explained the procedure for the design of circular as well as rectangular water tank by using an approximate method okay for analysis we use approximate method or we can use is coefficient method is code method okay that is we refer is 3370 part 4 particularly for both okay and for design we use working stress method so only the change in working stress method instead of design constants of working stress we use design constants of limit states and the formula of AST only change otherwise we can design a water tank by using limit state also okay but our syllabus is restricted so here we uh, I have completed the whole part by considering the syllabus that is yes we design both water tanks by using approximate method for the analysis and working stress method for the design and after that also i have covered the part which is design of water tanks by using is code method right analysis of water tank by using is code method and then w working stress method of design is used for the design okay now here we are going to use IS3370 part 2 particularly which is actually there is a one check which is very important in case of water tank that is crack width okay so the structure the water tank liquid retaining structure must be checked for the crack width okay so all the specifications are given in IS3370 part 2 okay so that we are going to refer okay so in this particular lecture we are going to focus on this part so first theory part i will cover and later word i am going to solve two examples mainly one for circular water tank and one for rectangular water tank okay so be focus particularly on this lecture okay because theory question might be asked on this topic it is many times asked as well as numerical ask on this topic so be focus on this topic okay so see this so design of liquid retaining or liquid retaining structure for the water uh, for the crack width we are going to see so here we know the objective of the design right a structure that is designed to retain liquids must fulfill the following requirements okay okay so for normal structure and see having adequate strength it having it should have durability and freedom from excessive cracking very important or deflection yes so already we uh, for the strength we designed the water tank right by using approximate method for the analysis and working stress method for the design now we are going to focus on this excessive cracking okay so freedom from excessive cracking should be there okay and in addition it should be it should be designed so that the liquid is not allowed to leak or percolate through the concrete structure yes so that's why we are designing this structure for the crack width in the design normal build uh, if you see the design of normal building structures the most critical aspect of the design is to ensure the structure retain stability under applied actions okay but in case of design of structure to retain liquid it is usual to find that if the structure has been proposed and re reinforced so that the liquid retain without leakage this is very important okay so for strength and serviceability generally we design the structures right so here serviceability criteria yes we always go with the strength as well as serviceability criteria so here serviceability criteria for the liquid retaining structure it should uh, liquid is should retain without leakage so it means it satisfying the serviceability limit state okay so then the strength is more than the adequate 
okay so ultimate limit strength is also we check and it is more than adequate so that's why this check is very very important and this is new part okay actually in this design okay so focus on this historically the design of concrete structure was based on elastic theory with specified maximum design stresses in the material at working loads okay when the so yes we are using working stress method of design because we know il, using elastic theory elastic theory means working stress method okay so <coughs> we design the structure but see this when the design of liquid retaining structure was based on the use of elastic design the material stresses were so low that no flexural tensile cracks develop okay so here the material stresses are very low in this case so that's why there is no any flexural tensile cracks developed